What's up, everybody? This is Eric Reed Harry, and I'm here to let you know I have a new online course on how to build air forms. In this course, you're going to learn everything I did in my video where I make a template, cut the fabric out, sew it, and all the other tips and tricks that I have there. Also, if you sign up for this online class, you're going to get three free air form designs. So there'll be three different designs that you could build for three different domes. So anyway, um, click in the link in the description box below, and I'll see you on the flip side. Peace. Okay, so the first step into building our air form is to determine what size dome we want to build. So for this example, I'm going to be building an air form for a nine-foot dome. But the important thing to remember about all of the different sizes of air forms and domes you could build that I have listed is they are all hemispherical. Hem the very tip, the point of the air form. So your first measurement is 12 inches from the top. So that's where we'll start our first measurement. So once you have that, your edge is aligned with all the marks. We'll draw a line from the top going all the way down. This one is for a 24 foot dome. So your next step is to get your Tyvek material or if you're using 6 mil plastic or even Now with my machine here, it's about two inches from the needle to the edge of this piece here. So I just get the fabric up against that edge. Then I put the, uh, the little lever down and I slowly start sewing, making sure everything is straight. So this is the air form. Here's the seam that's folded over the rope and it's sewn in. You want to uh, fold it by the seams. So I'll grab a seam here. So I get my seams all together. See how the material is folding here? That's what you want to do. So next you need your angle iron. This is angle iron, one inch by one inch. Okay, so next I'm going to show you how you mount the air form. So here I have a slab that I already drawn my circle for my diameter for the air form that I'm using. And um, 
I'll show you what I did to do that. Okay, so your next step is going to be to find the center of your slab. So you're going to do that by taking two measurements across and then finding that center, putting a mark, and then what I do... And so what I recommend is a leaf blower. Either a regular leaf blower or the leaf blower mulcher, which is what this is. 